Ladies and gentlemen, this Red Gaming Tentacom video, we're going to be taking a look at Tress FX technology. This is 2.0. This is part of a large article in which you can actually download this application. I've given you the link straight to AMD as well as the PDFs and so on, which further explain the technology. And I've also written a piece which goes into a lot of detail on exactly how this technology works and what it does. But this is just a quick one just to show off um, AMD's own demo technology. So what is it? Well, TressFX was originally created for hair, but it now does other things such as grass and furs. And once again, you can check out the article for more detail on this, but for now we're just going to be focused on the hair side of things. So you can change things such as hair color. I'm not sure if this will pop up on uh, the capture. Hopefully it does, but let's um, start it red. Let's go with, say, I don't know, the, a nice black. All right. So obviously that updates on the fly and right now we've got some wind on this and I'm going to disable that just by clicking going to simulation mode and you can see that I've got wind mag uh, magnitude. I'm just going to turn that to zero just for a moment. So a hair is much more stable. <clears throat> so the basic idea of TressFX is it's basically computing uh, the individual hand the strands of hair on the GPU and you can see that if we go up and down um, her hair does indeed move and we can actually make her head bang a little bit as well which is kind of cool All right so <coughs> um, sorry guys I'm nursing a bit of a cold right now so I'm trying my best not to cough and splutter now what you could do is you can actually enable a distance adoptive now adaptive I'm sorry now this is basically a level of detail switch which automatically changes the level of detail as you can see right there depending on the model or the character's distance from the camera. Right? So I have gone into a lot more detail than that in the article because it's quite a large topic but basically all this does is changes the complexity on the fly based on how far you are from a particular character which was a major issue with the original TrustFX. <clears throat> so if we disable that we can actually just manually do this and you know we can basically give her a bald kind of look if we so desire. I don't know why we would do that, but whatever. Uh, you can see that if we increase the hair thickness without any density, then it just doesn't matter. But if we start popping in some detail and then we change the thickness, the basic premise is simple. That if, for example, we're really far away, it'll increase the thickness of each of the individual hairs. Uh, and the purpose of that is basically to make up for the lack of density, right? You could also do things such as thin the tips, which you know kind of give it a more w wavy, realistic look as well. And you can also increase the amount of strands and copies, but we're not going to really focus on any of that. Um, you can actually zoom in, as I said earlier. Simulation mode allows us to add wind in, so I'm just going to move the camera, uh, the camera, <coughs> and you can see that we can just add some wind into this and yeah her hair starts to move but what we can do we can actually control each of these regions independently and I'm just gonna reduce the stiffness so you can see that her hair does indeed start to basically push now you can see some issues with this it is already starting to go into the face just the hair if you will um, but this is something that you can control with this and bear in mind it is only a demo it's down to that games developers to better implement this technology um, so if we push the wind all the way up, we can start seeing that, for example, we can dampen the hair. Now, this is basically how much weight the hair is, right? Um, this was a major issue with TrustFX 1.0. On top of the fact it didn't have an LOD, um, it also... Hair didn't really behave naturally depending on certain situations, primarily that it didn't really take into account the weight of the hair and therefore a lot of the time you could be in like soaking wet conditions and it just didn't really feel like the hair was damp it just felt like you know it just basically felt like it just been blow dried and even then it didn't behave quite as realistically so they've gone to uh, some extent to fix that so it's pretty cool in that respect <coughs> um, so you can definitely see with absolute ridiculous uh, changes that you can make like if we just reduce the thickness of the hair so that's obviously like that it's just too thick you can see that each individual strand is just you know ludicrous so if you're something like that that's that's more what you'd expect and obviously then if you start going backwards yeah the GPU is not doing as much work but it's still much more than what it should be so 
enabling adoptive you can see that immediately we start seeing a small drop there um, it's not massive but obviously as this technology evolves it's definitely going to be a lot better so anyway this has just been a short look at this uh, as I said I've written a large article that you can check out um, and it's got a lot more detail of this including AMD's quotes and so on which is kind of out the side of this video and old, honestly I don't know if my voice could <coughs> um, soldier it so uh, yeah Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.